using Boolean algebra, simplify the following expression. Anytime you are going to have problem like this, try to factorize first two variables, if this is possible. So let's take a look. We have A0 and C0 in these two terms. That's why I'm going to factorize A0 and C0. Inside of the parentheses, I'm going to leave B0 or B. I factorize these two. Next, if you are going to look at the first term and the third one, you will see that they have B0 and C0 together. So I'm going to factorize both variables B0 and C0 from these two terms. And inside of the parentheses, I'm going to have A0 or A. Remember, anytime you use Boolean algebra and you need to simplify the expression, you can use one term many times as you want, right? As you need, I suppose to say. Or, now I have common variables in these two terms, which are BC. And inside of the parentheses, I'm going to have A0 or A. And again, I can use again ABC because I have AB over here and my common variables are AB and inside of the parentheses I'm going to have C0 or C. Remember that complements or with each other are going to give me always one. That's why I'm going to have A0, C0 and one. Remember, anytime we have multiplication, this is called and. And we have or, B0, C0, and one, or B, C, and one, or A, B, and one. Anything multiply by one is the same thing. So simply I'm going to have A0, C0, or B0, C0, or B, C, or A, B. Let's take a look what we can factorize in this case. I can factorize B from these two terms. I'm going to have A0, C0 or B0, C0 or B and I'm going to have C or A. Now let's take a look. A0, C0 and C or A, they are complements. Someone is going to ask, how come? You have to remember the, the Morgan's theorem, which says A0, C0 is equal to A or C0, right? So I can say that this is nothing else, just the NOR gate. This is OR gate. So these two terms are complements. That's why I'm going to use complement absorption theorem, which says that anytime I have complements and one of them is end with something else, that complement is going to drop out. So take a look what I'm going to have. I'm going to have A0, C0 or B0, C0 or B. Again, I'm going to use complement absorption theorem, which says Again, I'm, when I have complements and one of them is ended with something else, is going to be drop out. That one which is ended with something else is going to be drop out. So I'm going to have A not C not or C not 
or B. Now, take a look what we have over here. I have C naught. I can factorize C naught. I'm going to have C naught and A naught or 1 or B. 1 or anything is always equal 1. That's why my expression is going to look like this. C naught because 1 or a naught will give me 1. It's going to be ended with 1 or B. C naught and 1 is C naught. And I'm going to copy down B. And this is the solution for the problem.